A-liner. The only trailer that you are gonna have to weld and fix and break and it's gonna slam all over the place. Hey everyone! Well, in today's video, we're fixing another mess I made on the A-frame camper trailer. Can you believe it? We busted this A-frame trailer up again. In the last video I posted, we bent the tongue of the trailer and were able to get that bent back and reinforced. Then we took the trailer all the way up into Washington and back to Arizona. And at the very last camp spot in Arizona, I noticed something bad. <laughs> The brackets that hold the wheels on essentially are cracked. So we're gonna jack this thing up, take the wheels off, um, and then Fife's coming over, my good buddy who I'm sure you've seen his video walkthrough of his F-250. Uh, and he's a fabricator, he's gonna help weld on and, and reinforce um, these little U-shaped uh, kind of brackets that essentially hold the wheels on. No leaf springs, no shocks. These trailers are insane. When push came to shove, the bracket just bent and cracked. So anyways, let's get this thing jacked up and try to get it all fixed up. four jack stands in there and actually we're keeping the jack jacked up over here because that last jack stand didn't go in that well but let's get all these lugs off pull the wheels so this is where the main damage is and actually I didn't even know it was this bad so this plate that's welded to the frame here and these bolts, bolt the axle to it, absolute junk. Tiny little plate cracked all the way through here and all the way across there. I did not know this was cracked. I originally saw this crack. Look how bad that junk is. And then over here, look at all that crack. <laughs> That's too much crack. And I don't even mind plumbers. So when you come in the angle, you can really see how it's bowed out and completely bent. You see all that gap? So this is a 2003 that I bought in 2019. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe the guy before me took it off some sweet jumps, but I don't think he did. And I definitely didn't. I, I'm really rough on stuff, but I felt like I was pretty easy on this trailer. This job would have been a whole lot easier with a Pro Eagle off-road lift jack. I really want to put one of those on the Jeep and I've been trying to get in contact with Pro Eagle. So if you know anybody, let me know. Let's get the other wheel off and see how bad it looks over there. So this driver's side's not quite as bad. Uh, there was a little bit of crack, I think, starting over here. But what I didn't see with the wheel on was that one. Um, so that was gonna crack all the way through. And there's a little bit of a crack starting there. So the reason that all this happened, I believe, is flexing. Um, this trailer has, like I said, no shocks, no leaf springs. It's not meant to flex at all. It is an expedition model. And, uh, you know, it should be able to handle some light off-roading. Well, we just got the scissor jack under the axle to hold all the weight when we take these bolts out. Uh, and then that way we can lower the axle and check it all out and then raise it back up and I'll do one side at a time, right Fife? You know it. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, there's a piece. Look at that. That was holding my axle on. What do you think, Fife? It's nice. 
Yeah, it's a little chintzy. Insane, man. Well, it'll be easy to get off. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Yep, look at that. Side too, huh? Crazy. Ooh, that's hot. Ow! Ow. Is this thing on? I guess uh, might as well put these down too, you know? Just might uh, help stabilize. Why don't I just do it? Oh, here, look at this. All right, so both bolts are out. I can literally, I can literally move this with my hands. Look at this. That's how thin this is. One finger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, it just looks, you remind me of a Star Wars character. That's such a cool freaking thing. Speed Lu glass. Luke, I am your father. Do something, do a voice. You can do really good voice, do a voice. Oh, uh, like, like Bane, or uh... Yeah, Bane, do come on in the light, do Bane. I don't, I just don't, I don't know any of those movies. <laughs> Bane! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Mom? Yeah, it totally sounds like Mom's vacuuming in the camper. So first things first, we hammered everything straight and welded up that crack. Expedition model. Can go on tons of expeditions as long as you just have a welder and nearby and just jack it up and weld the stuff that cracks and things that break. It'll go on those expeditions. You just might want to include a welder in your overland setup. I mean, it's not that big. Look, it's pretty small. Your eyeballs. Mm hmm. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know what's done when it looks like fun. Fife's on the ground and I'm singing that sound. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, it's looking like crack, crack, crackity crack. Well, that's sha shabbity yap ba ba da ba da smack. My friend on YouTube, he didn't do it that way. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Oh, oh. Look at that. We got the main bolt up uh, piece up here. We got this piece. And then we're gonna do uh, if I'm gonna weld up this last little piece. And they're pieces and things and they go all together. Oh the little bug. Audio. Welder's worst. Enemy is another welder. <laughs> Welders love the tough shit. Well, dude, this is so Anyway, one uh, side you know, you done. Really get, what you should really get is a shot right now. Before, before paint. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I gotta get a picture too. You do. You have always loved spray painting. Dang, dude. That looks a million times better than factory. Look at those welds. That's legit. Man, it's dry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Only good is new, but better than new. We'll do the other side tomorrow. Yarr. Send it. A little bit easier than the rest of it. Day two, side two. Cool. Yeah. I'll open up. <laughs> Here, my waist, you better work, son. It's so hard to get this wheel well. Getting done painted already and everything. Beautiful. Oh, man. If it breaks again, don't even mention it to me. <laughs>
Well, that worked out great, and I'm super thankful to have handy friends like Fife. In case you were wondering, we used quarter inch by two inch pieces of steel cut to length and welded in. Comment below and let us know what you think. If you did enjoy the fix in the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to support the Down to Mob channel, check out my Patreon in the link below. The only question is, are you Down to Mob? Woo! <laughs>